How's it going everyone? Welcome to another Streamlabs tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you browser source. As you can see, I have an overlay coming from stream elements, and then I can also test my alerts that are also coming from Streamlabs. So you can use multiple websites with your browser source, depending on what it is you're trying to bring into your stream. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to do this completely from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. All right, so now that we are on a blank canvas, we're going to go to our scene and we're going to click on sources and we're going to look for browser source. As you can see, it supports websites, third party widgets and HTML. So go ahead and add source and we're just going to do overlay for this one. Now for here in the URL, this is where we're going to take the web link and we're going to bring it in. So let's go to stream elements first. Once you log into stream elements, we're going to go over to streaming tools and we're going to go to overlay gallery. So this is where you can get some free overlays that you can use in your stream. And I had used this one. So all you got to do is hit create and then create my overlay. You can change the name of it if you'd like to, but once you hit create my overlay, it's then going to bring you to my overlay and you're going to see all of this. So, all you have to do, if you don't want to go in and mess with anything, you can click on these three dots and you can just copy the URL. If you want to look at the properties of it to see if it's a certain resolution that you're wanting it to be for, then you can click on this and you can change the resolution. That way it will fit inside of your encoder. So I'm going to leave mine at 1080p and I'm just going to copy the URL and then we're going to go back to Streamlabs. So here's where we're going to paste it. And we got to change the width and height for it to fit as you can see how it's all cut off like that. So we're going to do 1920 by 1080. And then it is filling up the entire canvas. So we'll go ahead and we'll lock that. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add another browser source and we're going to bring in the alerts from Streamlabs. So we're going to click on sources, browser source, add source and you're going to see something like this. Do not reuse this one. You have to go down to add a new source instead, and then you can give it a name and we'll just call this one alerts. Add source. And now we got that same thing again. So let's go to the Streamlabs website. All right. So on the Streamlabs website, I went to alert box and then I wanted to make sure my donations were set up how I want them to be. So you can customize like your image and your sound and the duration and all that stuff. So once you have that, how you like it, make sure you save all your settings. And then you're going to go up here to copy. It's going to copy this widget URL right here. So we click on copy, make sure we hit copy. And then we're going to go back here, double click. And we're just going to paste that in. So once you have that brought in, we're going to go ahead and lock it. And then we're going to go down here to test widget. Now it's probably going to look like this. So we're going to click on test widget and click on donation. And then you should see it populate on the screen. If for some reason it does not populate, just go back to the Streamlabs website, click on copy, click copy again, and then repaste it. It could have just been a broken link that you may have gotten, but that is pretty much how you would set it up. But that's pretty much how you set up browser source. It's very easy to use. And this was a very easy way of showcasing how it all works. But if you have any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to add about browser source, drop it in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to take a look at some of these videos on the screen here, as well as on the channel to help you out with your streaming and content journey. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.